Okay, what's up everyone? It is Jason Janai and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna unpack and unravel and tackle head on one of the biggest problems that most DJs struggle with, whether they're new or they've been doing this for a long time, and that is music management. So this is my first video in a complete series that I'm putting together to share some tips, techniques, practices, and just insight to how I'm cleaning up my own personal music collection. I'm a music hoarder and you probably are too. And this video is the first video in a complete series that I'm doing tackling head on this issue that so many people struggle with. Jason. Okay, so what's up everyone? It is Jason and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please, please, please consider smashing the subscribe button down below. And if you're a returning supporter, subscriber, viewer, or whatever, it is just good to have you back. This is the first video in a complete series of video, a playlist of videos that I'm putting together, kind of focusing in on and dealing with music management. I myself am a music collector, a music hoarder, and I have been walking around with approximately two terabytes of content on my hard drive for a number of years at this point. I play music, I play videos, I primarily do weddings and social events, but I do nightlife appearances. I also do a radio show every week. I have the newest of new and I have a lot of classic edits that you just can't find anymore. And I've been collecting this stuff since I became a DJ really, and my music collection has grown significantly over the years. Anyway, I've amassed this monster um, universe of content and now it is time to clean it up because you don't need to walk around having 150,000 songs on a hard drive when you really only, you know, when you can function in an efficient way with 25,000 or even 30,000 songs or much less than that. So I'm heading this, I'm, I'm, I'm approaching this head on and I'm going through it personally. Now, really, really quick, I have been working on um, organizing my music collection, but Three weeks ago, my MacBook Pro that I paid $7,000 for roughly a year and a half ago crashed and it had to be completely rebuilt by Apple. And it happened a day before I was set to play with Joe Bunn and ADMC on the Vault two year um, anniversary Twitch session. And when I played that night, I had like almost 900 people on the stream and it was so much fun and whatever, but I literally felt like a wounded bird because I have spent the past three months really working on music organization and I was doing it all wrong. So I've rethought how I wanted to do it. And rather than record a summary video that would be super, super long at the end of me getting through this, I figured I'd bring you along from day one and kind of chop up a number of smaller, easy to consume videos that will reside in one playlist on my channel. And in the future, if you have an issue, you could just go right back to that channel. So today is video one. I wanna give you the backstory, which I just did. And I wanna kinda of give you um, my thought process on how I'm gonna be moving forward. And I'm gonna share with you a couple of apps and um, software platforms that I'm using to kinda of set up the foundation of how I will operate moving forward and how I hope to kind of clean everything up and make things super, super, super efficient in my world. In the past, I've always had this like master music folder and then every year I create a new folder and then every time I download music, it would go into a quarterly folder, then it would go into a date folder and even a pool folder. So I had this like long train structure of music on my computer, which makes my software of choice, which is Serato DJ, works super, super hard when indexing, when moving things around, or even when searching. I noticed that I wasn't effectively using the platform when I was getting kind of that Apple scroll wheel that everyone is familiar with. And when you're overloading your computer, you can see the CPU kind of bar in Serato change colors, or you see the usage kind of extend itself. And I knew I had to redo this. So over the past, I don't know, three to four months, I've essentially taken my music library, starting off at roughly 150,000 songs, and I was able to whittle down about uh, 60 or 70,000 songs out of it until I lost my computer. At the time of me losing my computer, I made one cardinal sin, and that was I didn't do a backup because I wasn't finished. So my most recent backup was from the end of fourth quarter 
which is now three months ago. So anything that I've done this year new, whether it be a live set, a virtual event, or even um, a Twitch session or radio show, I've lost all of that content, as well as all the stuff that I've downloaded and I belong to a ton of pools. And by the way, if you haven't seen my music pool video, be sure to check the video up above or check it out in the description down below because those are the plugs that I use where I find my music. Anyway, I play in a big kind of interesting world and I have this massive amount of content, but I realized that I have multiple edits of, of certain songs or tracks on my computer that are dead weight. I know that I have um, files with bit rates that are super low. And I know that I just have a lot of extra stuff clogging up space on my hard drive. So my, my goal is to remove all of that and to come up with some type of structure that allows me to create like super crates, top one, top 50, top 100, top 200 in each genre that will give me the ability to be that much faster when I'm performing in the future after COVID, which things are getting better. Thank God. Thank God. Anyway, so I've kind of gone through the process of coming up with a structure that makes the most sense for how I wanna operate in the future. And that will be my diamonds folder, which is like my core foundation folder for events, which has approximately 10,000 songs in it. And then I'm gonna have a second folder and that's gonna be called, um, I didn't come up with a name with it, but just let's call it new music. So that's every time I, I download stuff, anytime I, I, I have stuff even from the past that maybe isn't, worthy to go into that foundation folder yet, the diamonds folder, but I still need to kind of work through and sort out and everything. So I'm gonna have a, a folder A, which is foundation, and folder B, which is essentially like, this is valuable stuff. Um, there's the newest of new is in there, but I don't know if these records are gonna be like classics or diamonds in the future. So if you have 30 edits of one song, you know, and you're only playing one edit, you have 29 edits of fluff and that would fall into this category. My goal and along the doing this kind of video series is over the next three to six months, I'm gonna be able to trim this terabyte plus of content down to a fraction of what that is and I will be aces golden and my library will be optimal at that point. So, Here's what I'm doing. So I have my foundation folder and I have this other folder. But before I could even compile that other folder, I had to start leading into some apps to remove duplicates and to what, what we would call flatten the folder. So if there are multiple subfolders within a folder structure, I need to put them all into one place. So I wanna share with you a few apps that I am using right from the beginning to start this music organization process. The first and probably the most important app that I'm gonna share with you is the Crate Hackers app. And if you haven't seen my whole kind of run through of the Crate Hackers platform, I am gonna share it in the link above, but I'm also gonna put it in the description field because I think this platform is so tremendous and I think it will be so helpful as we move forward in this series and just in general, in life in general. And I am so pumped to be able to share it with you. So not only did I secure special pricing and a link so that you can actually get onboarded to the Crate Hackers platform outside of their membership drives, but I go into details of what it's done for me, how I've used this platform, and it's really a video you need to see. And seriously, just check it out. And if you have any questions, please let me know. But in the new Crate Hackers app, there is a tool service that Glenn, the developer, had created, which allows you to flatten your folder. So you can take a universe of music that has a number of different subfolders and subfolders and subfolders, and essentially it will gather all of the MP3 content, the MP4 content, or the digital media content in general, and it will trans, it will actually copy it and and place it in a brand new folder on your hard drive. So I have this one folder with multiple, multiple, multiple playlists, and now I'm taking all of the stuff that's in the playlist as well as the actual subfolders, and it's gonna be dumped into one fresh folder that has a, you know, a terabyte plus worth of content in it in one structure form. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because 
when you use long form single folders as opposed to subfolders, your software will, will run a lot more effectively and efficiently. It also will allow you to do a lot of staring compares and use some of the other apps I'm gonna to mention to you shortly in scrubbing the content and removing duplicates and just kind of setting yourself up for that import to your software platform. So um, after you get everything into this thing, into this single folder, I would move over to step two, and that would be use a duplicate file kind of cleaner scrubber or remover um, application. Now, there are two that I wanna share with you that I use, and I actually use them both simultaneously. They are super affordable, and they have like a one-year membership if you do invest in the pro level in the Apple store. And if you're using a PC, you can, you can find them in your app store as well. But the two that I'm gonna share with you are Gemini 2, and duplicate file cleaner. These tools are incredibly powerful and they allow you to manipulate the parameters for which songs stay and which songs go. If there are multiple versions of one edit with the same file name or the same designation, you can select the ones that you actually wanna remove. And you could say highest bit, uh, bit rate quality can stay, the newest downloaded can stay, everything else can go. After I complete this next scrub, which I am hoping to do tonight, I actually will remove all duplicates using both of those softwares. And I used both software um, applications on this folder because sometimes they will pick up on different titling um, things in the overall, overall um, uh, folder. And you will just be able to slim it down uh, better. Sometimes one, platform might pick up certain tracks and the other one might miss them or whatever. This kind of gives me a, a look at from, a, from two different angles and allows me to get a little bit further when I'm scrubbing things down. After I have everything kind of scrubbed out and removed from that folder, I will actually take that, mat, that second master folder and I will bring it into my DJ software, Serato. And after it's analyzed and good to go, I then will, will run my third process and the last process I'm gonna mention in this video, and that is Record Cloud. Now, Record Cloud is considered to be the Swiss army knife for DJs. It's an incredibly powerful, powerful app. It allows you to manipulate tags and titles and remove those ampersigns and the A, N, D, all these designations that sometimes when you move files around between different platforms, you start to accrue and gain all these extra um, spaces and, and characters. And it'll allow you to do a lot of other things. You can change your key information. It will do a ton. So that's really where I want to kind of leave this because at that point of the process, I'd like to start with my next video and talk about how I'm going to lay this stuff out in my software. Now, what do we do in this video? Well, we determined the reason why I'm doing this and I'm sharing with you real deal stuff. By the way, if you haven't backed up your um, music library, make sure that you have at least one rock solid, very, very current backup and put yourself on some type of reminder so that you're constantly backing up your music library so that you never run into any type of issues where things could be missing or things could fail or whatever. From there, you know, we go through the process of how I'm actually doing things. So I have kind of like my structure of my foundation, my diamonds crate, and then I have all this other content and I've basically flattened all of my folders and put all of the media content, all the MP3s, all the music files, the WAV files, the AIF files, the TIFF files, all the files are now in um, two single folders on my computer desktop. Then we scrub them out. We remove all duplicates using the two software platforms that I mentioned before, Gemini 2, as well as duplicate file cleaner. And then number three, we import the two master folders of content into our DJ software. In my case, it's Serato DJ. We load it up, we analyze it. And then number four, we run Record Cloud and we start looking at the content. That's kind of the first step in this music management mess that I'm actually starting right now. But I am so hopeful and so focused and so determined to crush it with you. And I can't wait to share every step of the way to let you know 
where and how it goes, any issues that we do. And hopefully along the way, I'll be able to share with you some perspectives, some tips and some things that I've done over the years that have just helped me like saving those playlists to a history file. And then at the end of every year, copying those to like a master folder, which I think is just a gold nugget to take with you no matter who you are and what you do. Anyway, I'd love to hear from you. So if there's something in the beginning stages that I missed that you wanna ask questions on or I wasn't clear enough, feel free to drop down below, throw it in the, com uh, in the comments below and I will engage with every single person. Now that's it for this video. And I hope that, you know, kind of this first video is helpful in some way, shape or form. And I'm, I'm hopeful that you can pick up a nugget, a thought process or something along the way. I look forward to scrubbing out my music library and getting everything, everything, everything on point with you in the days, weeks and months ahead. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I'm super excited that you are here with me for the ride. If you have any questions or you need insight, perspective, or thoughts on anything, throw it in the comments down below. And I appreciate you checking out this video and rocking with me today. My name is Jason. Thank you again for watching. Be on the lookout for more content and of course, additional content into this playlist coming very, very, very soon. Thanks.